Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be talking to you guys about adequacy. It gives the doctors an accurate result of how well we dialyze. They're gonna test how clean it is. It's gonna show them if you're actually doing your dialysis. Cleaning yourself every single day with hemodialysis, you're there three to four times a week. So they know when you show up and when you don't. If my adequacy comes out bad, they're gonna raise the time on my dialysis or they're gonna make me do a manual during the day. I had the doctor tell me about, I think three months ago, that he was gonna have me do a manual during the day unless my adequacy came up. And I really didn't want to do a manual during the day. It just adds more stress. You know, it adds more stress because it's just less normal in your life. I stopped drinking milk, now I buy almond milk. You know, like it's little things like that that can make your dialysis have better results so that you don't have to be connected to the machine so long or have to do a manual during, throughout the day. Okay, so what do I have here? I have a urine container. This urine container also has numbers on the side to measure how much urine you did in the last 24 hours. I have this container that goes onto the toilet and that way when you go to the bathroom, it takes your pee. Honestly, this is your best friend during adequacy because the night before you start your 24 hour thing, you just put this thing on the toilet and leave it there because you're gonna forget. I forgot many times. <laughs> it was really hard for me to grasp that because it's once every three months, you know? It's not like you do it continuously to where you know, okay, I have to do this, I have to do this. So this container, if you put it in on the toilet the day before, you're gonna hear it when the urine hits it and you're just like, oh yeah, I'm supposed to be doing my adequacy. So there's a drain bag also. The drain bag connects to the end of your drain line on the machine. I also received this container to sample the dialysis fluid after my dialysis treatment is over. The last thing that I get is a piece of paper. This piece of paper honestly just helps fill in the blanks. So this is how I've been instructed to do it. With the urine container, you can put this container in a small igloo with some ice. I honestly just bag it and put it on the bottom of my fridge. That's what I do. Okay, so we know we have to do the urine for 24 hours. We have to connect the drain bag for the dialysis that you do the night before your lab work. And then you know the container you're supposed to drain the drain bag into. And honestly, you guys, this clamp, let me get closer. This clamp right here has really messed up my days. Because if you don't clamp this, all the water is going to go onto your floor, onto your carpet. It's going to get everywhere. And that's... That's your whole night of dialysis on the floor, you guys. Like that, waking up to that is just horrible. <laughs> and not only that, you have to redo it. You have to redo the whole adequacy because the freaking drain line was open. So, what have we learned? <laughs> Close this little sucker, all right? So it's going to ask for your initial drain value. Mine is 564. So on this paper, I'm going to write 564 milliliters. Okay, so it's also asking for my total UF amount. Total UF is 1,165. Total exchange value. It's gonna be total therapy value. 
because that's everything that's all the exchanges you did during your dialysis treatment so so the total exchange volume is going to be 8,500 milliliters so my last fill volume is actually not on here I just know that I'm left with 500 every morning I will write 500 milliliters. We are also going to be getting our weight to put on the paper. Now, my scale overweighs me, so I'm not actually 152, I'm like 134. Wink, wink. <laughs> There's still water in my treatment bags, and this water can't be drained into the drain bag until after you take your sample out. So that's what we're going to do right now. I have my sample cup. There's a sticker on top warning that there's a needle inside, so just be careful. And we're going to continue with draining the drain bag into the sample cup. And then we're going to close it and we should be ready to go to our appointment. Okay, so after all that, you're going to grab the urine container, you're going to grab your sample cup that you drained the drain bag into, and you're going to take the paper that you wrote all the information from your treatment and head to your appointment. Once you give the nurse your adequacy, they're going to take a sample of your blood. So with all of these factors, the doctor can see how clean you're actually getting with your dialysis. So I received my results for my adequacy and I got a total of 3.32 and the range is a 2.0 and up so I'm doing really well. I really hope you guys learned something from my video. I'll be posting every Tuesday and I hope you guys have a good week. Stay healthy you guys. Bye!